big continuous threat. A website launched by Oxfordshire County Council has come under fire as campaigners say it's encouraging people to ditch meat in favour of vegan meals. The website offers advice on how to tackle climate change with first among the ideas being adopt a plant-based diet. Local beef and dairy farmers say the council should be encouraging people to support local producers. Jeremy Stern reports. After a lifetime in farming, Watlington-based David Awkward says he feels let down by those elected to represent him. He understands the need to protect the environment, but says the climate action Oxfordshire site undermines livestock farmers. I went into farming because I thought I was providing food for the country for the right way and what, and what they wanted and doing it in the right way. And I think that's been totally ignored by these councils who only can see that they're blinkered. They can only see the vegan. Come and talk to us farmers. The website's been supported by a number of local organisations. At Charbury Community Centre, the county council leader said she valued local produce in all forms. Liz Lefman, who's open about eating meat, said most residents were concerned about climate change. We're not telling people to do anything. We're making some suggestions as to how people can change their lifestyles and it's absolutely up to them what they choose to do. The government is doing exactly the same because their food strategy makes exactly the same suggestions that we're making. We're merely picking up on what the government is proposing. Earlier this year, Jeremy Clarkson joined a protest against plans for vegan-only meals at county council events. The Countryside Alliance objected too. The groups also criticised the new website. Well, the first point of call for local residents to follow is to ditch meat and dairy, and we see that as a direct attack on local farmers, but also farmers from across the country. We don't think the council should be telling people what they should and shouldn't be eating, particularly when it's the case that they're relying on global figures uh, around emissions when our farmers are working incredibly hard to produce sustainable, seasonal produce. The council says the website only cost about £100 to make. The Countryside Alliance argues it's £100 too much. Jeremy Stern, BBC South Today. And that's it from me. Here's